Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Knox at home to Tranmere. Yeah, we haven't actually played Tranmere for a while. 2014 was the last time we played them at Prenton Park where we lost 3-2. The last time we played them at Menor Lane we won 2-0. The goal scorers were Joss Labadee and Marcus Haber. I think it was Marcus Haber. But yeah, a lot's changed since then. Tranmere have been relegated to non-league and promoted back to the Football League. Knox have been relegated to League 2 and pretty much stayed there. James Norwood up front for Tranmere has 7 goals in his last 6 games, which is more than not having their last 6 games. It's Neil Ardley's first home league game in charge. Come on Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. Right, it's, it's cold, it's, it's trying to rain and it's just horrible weather. Yeah, team news. I've no idea what's happening. I don't know whether Preston Davis or Adit Hewitt's at right, one of them is at right back, one of them is in centre mid. Kane Emmings is back. Um, David Vaughan and Bob Milson stay midfield. It's cold, we've got no midfield, our defence is awful, and James Nord's banging in the goals to try there. It's 23rd v 7th. Right, it's, it's so cold. It's like minus 23 in this ground. My, my ears are cold. My nose is cold. It's, it's almost Mount Sword at home last year levels of cold. And that was cold. It's nothing. We beat Doncaster away a few years ago. The 14 15 season. Where it was, it was undescribable amounts of cold. But yeah, it's not me, one of the coldest games I've ever been to. The ball. Yes! Oh! Right, we're about 25 ish minutes in, it's still 0 0. Lots of, lots of done okay so far. We haven't looked too. We haven't looked too, you know. Too dodgy defensively. We've been, we have, we've been okay going forward. We had a good chance from. Uh, when Henry's played it into Thomas, and Thomas won it wide. But we've battled so far. Yeah, we've not, we've not done great, but we've not done too bad. By not standing anyway. Well, 
Well, Simon, give us your half time for us. Well, despite playing, despite playing without a full back either side, um, we're doing all right. We're, we've had one or two scares in defence and we've got away with one or two bits, but I think we've, we've had some of that. I think we deserve to be winning. Um, you know with not, so we're going to try and manufacture a way to throw it away, but, but let's hope that we can, we can keep showing the spirit and showing in 45 minutes. It seems to be a, a bit of a theme recently that we're having a good 45 and a terrible 45, so that was a pretty good 45. Let's hope that we carry on second half in the same vein and let's hope Tranmere are thinking more about the FA Cup on Monday night than they're thinking about us. So they just want to get on that bus back home. This is going nowhere. Handball. If that's not handball, what is? Hemmings! He'll oh, save us, he's already positioning him to go left. I can't feel my feet. I can barely hold this this phone. I'm shaking. It's so cold. It's raining. It's horrible. But we've won a game of football, and it just feels glorious. Finally, I get to be happy on a Saturday for once. Brilliant commitment from every single one of them on the pitch today, even Jones, you know, who's at fault for both goals, but we've won. We finally won. We're all nuts, aren't we? So match day 22 over. It's it was cold, it's raining, it's absolutely pissing down, but knots have won a game at last. It's so good to be happy on a Saturday again. I know we're not out of the relegation zone, but that win could be huge for us. It could turn our season around and give the players a lot more confidence going into 
next few games. Yeah, and I felt like we deserved a win today. We there was to, there was better togetherness, there was better commitment. Um, the second goal, especially, you could tell a few weeks ago that wouldn't have happened. We got the tram. They had the ball out on the wing. We won it back. The ball came in and Hemmings put it in to make it 2-1. A few, like I say, a few weeks ago that wouldn't have happened. But yeah, like I say, a lot better commitment uh, from the team today. We were going into tackles. We looked good going forward as well. Um, I moaned at Nathan Thomas, but he did play well today. He played a lot better than he did last week. John Stead leading from the front, as John Stead does. He's our tractor. Keston Davis, he's played in a lot of posi uh, a lot of different positions since he's come to Notts. He's played right back, centre mid, at centre back. But he played in centre mid today and he did really well. He broke up the play, he put tackles in. Yeah, really good performance from the Swansea Loney. Elliot Ward, he's so calm. He's so confident with the ball at his feet and passing. He's, he's just so calm. It's... It's ridiculous how calm he is. I felt like we deserved a win today. We were, we were good going forward. The first goal was good. Hemmings and Jones with the 1-2 playing to Stead who tapped it in at the back post. Yeah, and at last, you know, a few weeks ago, like the, the performances under Harry Kuehl were not great. And it's just, there was, it was such a difference uh, to that today. There's commitment, togetherness, passion. We were tackling. We looked, like I say, we were go good going forward. We played... Um, we played in the Tranmere's half, we didn't make it easy for them, and it's good to see. Yes, we can see the two goals, and they're both from Crosses again, and they're both from Dan Jones' side, which is frustrating. But he's poor, he's a poor player, and I think we will get a new left back in in January. I think Neil Arley can see, you know, at right back and left back, we're not very strong. You know, we're not very strong. We, he knows we concede lots of goals from crosses. The strikers, um, Stead, Hemmings and Dennis, brilliant, them three. It's the, it, Stead leads from the front, Hemmings and Dennis. Dennis almost scored with his first touch, he came on and almost volleyed it past the Tranmere keeper. Just, them three are superb. Yeah, Hewitt, Hewitt, yes, Elliot Hewitt played at right back and he was actually okay, he was fine. You know, he wasn't troubled at all. He's bit well. He's barely troubled anyway, and he just put in a solid performance. I know he's not very good at right back, but he did his job today, and he and he did fine. Ross Fitzsimmons as well, great save in the second half to deny Tranmere, and the penalty. Nathan Thomas is brought down clearly by Mark Ellis, and John Stead does what John Stead does with a penalty. He scores it. We're not at the relegation zone. But is doing. But I feel like there could be improvement coming in the next few weeks. There are some big games coming up. Let's get some points on those. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Say subscribe if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Sulush.